morning, everyone. This is Miss Vaughn. Today is Wednesday, May 6th. I'm sure that's right. I must slide my picture down here for a minute so uh, we can look at our standard for today. Our standard for today is uh, ELA GSC 6RL7. This is the one critical standard that the county says that we have to teach during this time of remote learning. And so we're going to be focusing on it today and again next week when we do our final assessment for the mythology program, uh, mythology unit. Uh, ELA GSC 6 RL7 says compare and contrast the experience of reading a story, drama, or poem to listening to or viewing an audio, video, or live version of the text including contrasting what you see and hear when reading the text to what you perceive when you listen or watch. And your um, learning target says, I can compare and contrast the experience of reading a story, drama, or poem to listening to or viewing an audio, video, or live version of the text. And your knowledge target is, I can identify similarities and differences because that's what compare and contrast means. Compare means how things are similar and contrast means how they're different in the content of two different text formats. So for today, we are going to be watching the videos of Prometheus and Pandora's Box. And uh, yesterday and Monday, we read the stories of Prometheus and Pandora's box. So before we move on, our questions for today on today's assignment are race formatted questions. They are constructed response. You have to construct the response. Some of you are doing a whole lot better of this. Some of you are writing multiple sentences writing in complete sentences and doing exactly what you're supposed to. But I still have some of you that are writing cause, blah, 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 or because, blah, 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 and not writing in complete sentences. And guys, in order to get the full credit for these questions, you have to write in complete sentences. So when I say I want you to write your constructive response in the race format, what I mean is I want you to restate the question as a statement. I want you to answer the question completely and accurately. The answer has to be accurate. The restate and the answer is your first sentence. The two of those together make your first sentence. Then you need to cite relevant evidence from the text to support your answer. Give an example from the text or from the video. Today you're going to be asked to do both. Give examples from the video and the story and explain the reason or the evidence supports your answer. So this was my example that was on my wall in the classroom. Why did Goldilocks eat baby bear's porridge? And I color coded it so that you could see the four parts of the race. Goldilocks ate baby bear's porridge. That's restating the question as a statement. And then the green part, we're answering it. Goldilocks ate baby bear's porridge because it was the right temperature. Period. Notice I start with a capital letter. I end with punctuation. That is my first sentence. Now C, it says cite relevant evidence from the text to support your answer. According to the story, Papa Bear's porridge was too hot and Mama's be Mama Bear's porridge was too cold, but Baby Bear's porridge was just right. All right, so there's the example from the story. Goldilocks ate baby bear's porridge because it was just the right temperature. You know this because according to the story, it says Papa Bear's porridge was too hot, Mama Bear's porridge was too cold, but baby bear's porridge was just right. And then explain. This shows that she ate baby bear's porridge because the temperature was just perfect. That is a race formatted answer. Notice it's three sentences. On these kind of questions on your assignments this year, I've asked for your answers to be three to seven sentences long. Three is your basic answer where you do the four things. It ends up being three sentences. But if it asks you to give more than one example from the text, your answer will be longer. 
Next year in seventh grade, the seventh grade standard says that you can cite multiple pieces of evidence from the text. So on this assignment this week and on the assignment next week, there's going to be at least one question where you have to give it more than one example. All right, so we're going to look real quick at the assignment itself. Excuse me, guys, my allergies are acting up this morning. All right, so let's pull up. Let's go third period classwork. And let's go to today's assignment. Notice it says graded assignment May 4th through 8. And let's pull it up. Okay, so we've read the story. There's our instruction. There's the story of Prometheus. There's the questions that went with Prometheus. There's Pandora's box. There's the stories that went with Pandora's box. Hit next. And then here's the link for today's video. It's on my YouTube channel. And here's question number one. In what ways... Ooh, my screen's dirty. In what ways is the experience of watching the videos of the story better than reading the stories? Remember to use examples from the text of the stories as well as from the videos. So that means you need to talk about the video and the individual stories. So you could say the experience of watching the videos of Prometheus and Pandora's box is better than reading the stories because. All right, so there's my restating of the question. And then tell why it's better, okay? When you're finished with telling why it's better, you will put a period at the end. You're going to say, for example, in the video, it, and then tell what it does. But in the story, it, and tell how the story is different. In another place, in the video, it shows and tells what it shows. But in the story, it and then tell how the story is different. This makes watching the video better because blah, blah, blah. And you're done. Okay? So notice that's about how long your answer is going to be. You're going to fill in the dotted ellipses um, with your own words, but that's basically what it's going to look like. If you need to take a screenshot of this right now so that you can see it, so that you can use this as an example, please take a screenshot, pause the video, whatever you've got to do, get your phone, take a picture of it, take a screenshot on your computer, however you need to do it. Do that now. All right, let's move on to the next one. Same thing here. How is the story of Pandora's box in the video different from the story you read in the text? So again, you will say the video of Pandora's box is different from the story we read in several ways. All right. Just use that as your first example. For example, in the story... It says, and then tell what it says, but in the video, it says, and then tell what the video does. Later in the story, it shows blah, 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 but the video shows blah, blah, blah. These are just two examples of how the video is different from the text. All right. 
That simple. Once again, take a screenshot, take a picture with the camera, whatever you need to do to get a picture of this so you can use this as your example. If you only write a sentence fragment, <clears throat> depending the way it's going to be scored, these are count four times as many points as the multiple choice. So if we go up to the top, I don't know how many points the multiple choice is. Let's see, I'm not real sure. I'd have to, let me look. So, still not showing how many points it is. Um, it's not sh wanting to let me see how many questions there are. Anyhow, it'll count four times as much as the, um, four times as much as the multiple choice. So you're going to want to get all four points. So let's say if it counts 16 points each, that means the R is four points, the A is four points, the C is four points, and the E is four points. And to get a passing grade, you need to get all those parts. So please, please, please do these correctly on this assignment this week. All right, so today at 1030, I will be watching the video live in Google Meets and talking about it. And we can talk about the questions. If you need to show me your answers to see if I will give you credit for those answers, we, I can do that. Um, but we will watch the videos together at 1030 for anybody who wants to watch them with me. Otherwise, they are here in your assignment and you can just click on the assignment to watch them. I may post them as well into this daily post. Have a great day, everyone. I hope to see some of you at 1030. Also, remember from 1 to 2 today, we have remediation. Today, I will be going over part 4 of the run. We've gotten pretty well into it. It's a zombie apocalypse story. It's pretty cool. Um, so those of you that need to replace any bad grades um, from term three or the start of term four, um, I've got specific assignments that can be replaced by these to improve your grade. This is a great opportunity for those of you that have a grade term three that you don't like and your term four grade is still one that you don't like, this is an opportunity for you to improve that grade. Remember, only those people who are failing both term three and term four will be given incomplete, and those people do have to make up their grade or they will eventually get an F. The incomplete grades must be made up during summer school and fall SIEP. Um, which is remediation before and after school. So those of you that are sitting on an incomplete right now because you were failing term three and term four, you want to get this remediation done so that you're not still having to do sixth grade work next year in seventh grade to get a grade in this class that's a passing grade. Because um, at the end of the remediation period in the fall, you will be given whatever the grade is that you have earned in my class. So please know that. Um, so if you have any questions about how remediation works or how the whole incomplete thing is working with the county, uh, please email me and I'll be glad to explain that to you. Have a great day, everyone. See you soon. Ms. Vaughn out.